Now tonight, NBC5 investigates continuing to follow the money, hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayer money spent on the city's migrant crisis. Now, while the city has created a website to track migrant spending, our team found there are still many aspects of this that are just shrouded in secrecy. Here's investigative reporter Bennett Haverly. As migrants begin to move out of shelters, invoices are still rolling in. The city of Chicago spent nearly $300 million on the migrant crisis so far, with more than $206 million paid to Kansas-based favorite health care staffing, which staffs the migrant shelters. But not much is known about how these buildings are selected or how much the property owners earn from lease agreements. Answering that is difficult in part because of how the city structured its migrant operation. It feels a little more translucent than transparent, right? You'll get some information, but not the full picture. The city's migrant spending website shows more than $45 million have gone to a Louisville company, Equitable Social Solutions. That's where a number of those leases are. So. Mayor Brandon Johnson's office says Equitable helps facilitate and identify shelters through the help of another company, ReloShare. For months, NBC5 Investigates has asked for copies of the leases for the 27 shelters the city operated. Through a series of Freedom of Information Act requests, we received just nine agreements. Those missing include lease agreements for the city's largest and most expensive shelters. You should not have to go through the hoops that you've gone through just to get through, get to partial information. Joe Ferguson is Chicago's former inspector general. He's now with the Civic Federation, a nonpartisan government research group. We absolutely should know at every step of the way where the public's money is going to so that we can make an assessment as to whether or not it is being used well. What we do know after reviewing hundreds of pages of invoices is how millions of dollars have flowed to these companies for the operation and use of the buildings. Take, for example, the city's largest shelter in Pilsen. Housing 2,300 migrants costs city taxpayers $38,000 for a single night. That's $280,000 a week, or more than $2.5 million over the course of three months. It was a similar story over at this Ogden shelter. For three months, $1.8 million. And at the end of Chicago, which at one time provided 1,500 beds, the cost $344,000 a week. If you total that out to a year, it's more than $17 million. It's tough to say how that money was divided up. Equitable Social Solutions directed our questions back to the city. ReloShare did provide a statement, but it didn't answer any of our questions, and the property owners either didn't return our calls or would not comment. If there are public dollars involved, shouldn't the public know where they flow? 100%. Alderman Andre Vasquez chairs the city council's migrant committee. He said even aldermen have had a hard time accounting for how these dollars have been spent. I think something that we've been looking at is how to really get more mandated reporting from the government as they're making decisions because our constituents are asking us those very questions. I'm not looking to make any money on this. Randy Schifrin told me he offered up a vacant property on South Michigan Avenue to the city last fall for $1 a year. The city, he said, passed on the offer. They made a date with me to come and view the building, her and her group, and then at the very last minute, they were called back. In response to other reporting that the city had months ago turned down offers for other potential shelter sites from the archdiocese, Mayor Braden Johnson pushed back. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Telling Thank reporters the city today. is now working with the archdiocese day. to bring one shelter online. But um, it's not just as simple as, here's a building, take it. There's... <laughs> There's work that has to be done to build it out to make it suitable. But Johnson sidestepped our questions about calls for increased transparency. We've seen the bed rates, right? Yeah. It's a lot of money. I mean, I guess that's still the question that's outstanding. Would you support more transparency, more efforts to share, share those records? Thank you for, for that question. Again, we're meeting you right where you are. And that response did not answer our questions about the calls for more transparency. Bennett Haverly, NBC5 Investigates.